now is the time for the city to put it back on the agenda. A Winnipeg e-scooter advocate is calling for the city to take a proactive approach to regulating the quick-moving motorized devices, now peppering city streets and sidewalks, stressing the scooters are here to stay. These things are new and people aren't quite used to them, and the word scooter kind of implies, oh, it's just a toy. You know, people can get into trouble, right? Rob Christensen is one of the moderators of the e-scooter Winnipeg Facebook group, which currently has more than 350 members and he says now is the time for the city to examine a regulatory framework for the devices. With no mention of the e-scooters in the Highway Traffic Safety Act, which dictates and legislates motor vehicles in the province, Christensen says the scooters operate in a grey zone, so it's been left to riders to regulate their own behaviour. But he says rules should be in place to ensure accountability. It's about behaving responsibly, because the last thing you want, heaven forbid, you get yourself hurt or you get somebody else hurt who's just minding their own business. Uh, you know, regulation should precede those things. While there is no mention of the devices in the Act, the City of Winnipeg indicated the scooters are regulated under the legislation, and a 2019 report indicated the City has been doing work to ready for the arrival of the devices, but through a vendor-initiated micromobility sharing service. An interview request was not accommodated, but the City of Winnipeg said in a statement while the province's Bill 21 allows e-scooters and micromobility trial programs in the city, there are currently no plans in place. But the city did note it would work with, quote, any e-bike, e-scooter, bike share or micromobility firm interested in developing a sharing service in the city, providing oversight and technical support as required. However, when asked about the city's response, Christensen says the municipality should be taking the lead as the irresponsible riders in between will hurt the community as a whole. I think it's unfortunate that they are limiting themselves to, well, if a business will, and let me do my own interpretation of city speak, if the business will take all this risk off us so we don't actually have to do anything, hey, we're more than willing to, well, take your information. In response to a question about the city's overall message about the general use of these devices by the public, it explained that it wants to see people using them safely and courteously, saying they should be ridden like a bike on the roads as opposed to sidewalks, and riders should be courteous to others, particularly pedestrians. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.